up, Mythicals? It's Minotaurus here, and I'm here to bring you some slightly scuffed content. If you like what you see, be sure to like this video, and if you want to become an official, official Mythical, hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check me out on Twitch. I stream Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday from 8 p.m. Central to around midnight. You can catch the link down below. Holy shiitakamole, y'all. Can you believe it's already December? And, you know, when December rolls around, there's something really big that everybody loves to participate in, myself included. This year I'm doing things a little differently and I'm filming a YouTube video on it. Yeah, Spotify year in. Spotify wrapped 2021 is officially here and I'm curious to see what Spotify has to say for me. So I have a few assumptions um, and, and guesses as to what's going to be like my top artists, top songs, you know, things like that. Now, um, before I tell you those assumptions and all that, um, apparently you can only do the Spotify wrapped 2021 thing on your phone. So I have my phone with me and as I pull it up, I will take screenshots and post them over here. So um, that way you guys can kind of see what I'm seeing and uh, yeah. But anyways, so um, assumptions, right. Okay, so my music taste has definitely changed over the year, like tremendously. Um, I, I've always been like a really, really big metalhead for the past well over a decade. And my Spotify year ends have always been just metal, just straight metal. And uh, this year, I think it's going to break that cycle and be completely different. Now I have, I, like I still listen to metal and stuff, but my music taste really changed this year, especially back around February when I discovered Corpse Husband and his song Miss You really helped me through a tough time back then. And from there, I just fell in love with all of his music and became a little obsessed. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on that Corpse hype train. Um, in fact, I was wearing my Corpse hoodie earlier today. Um, <laughs> so I already know Corpse is probably my most listened to artist this year. And if, if it's not, I'm gonna be so shocked and I'm probably gonna need to talk to Spotify and be like, hey, I think you did something wrong because guys, I listened to so much Corpse this year, like more than I'd like to admit, but you know, y'all about to find out just how much. Um, <laughs> Next to Corpse, I, I'm trying to think, like, who else I've really listened to this year. I kind of went on a huge, like, TikTok music binge where the songs may have gotten popular or have been popular outside of TikTok, but I first heard them on TikTok, and so then I would go and add them to my playlist. And a lot of my, my songs I've been listening to over the past year have been TikTok music or music that I heard from TikTok um, or artists that I at least discovered from TikTok. And so... Um, I I'm curious to see what the top artist is going to be, mostly because I don't like, so like I said, I, like, I listened to a lot of songs that came from TikTok. I only listened to really that song. I didn't go and explore these artists' other songs like I probably should have. And I apologize that I didn't do that, okay? I was just a little caught up in the one song that really caught my attention. Um, and so I'm really curious to see what my top artists are because... Aside from Corpse, like, I mean, I listen to a lot of Kane Hill, and I listen to a lot of, like, uh, Lorna Shore, um, but I also listen to, like, Bella Porch's two songs that she put out that I really like, uh, but I've also listen listened to a lot of Suburban, um, but then I've also discovered, um, what are they called? I think they're called, like, the Living Tombstones or something like that. Super catchy. Discovered them from TikTok. Um, also discovered Jairus Johnson from TikTok. I like a, f a few of his songs. Um, so I don't know. I'm really curious to see what that, like, what my top artist is going to be. I, I also listened to a lot of, uh, Ghost Mane after reacting to Hydrochloride. So, uh, you can check that out, that reaction up above. Um, it was a really good reaction. I actually really enjoyed that one. That was one of my favorite reactions I've ever filmed, uh, in terms of music and stuff like that. So feel free to check that one out. Um, and then I've been a huge fan of Kane Hill. So, and I, I think I did a reaction to Kane Hill as well. I'm pretty sure. I think I did Kill Me by Kane Hill. Um, so if that is true, I'll also, like, I'll link that reaction down below in the, in the description box. So that way you're not having to, like, click all sorts of places, you know, 
Okay, ghost main up here, cane hill down there, okay? Um, <laughs> anyways, I think th that's basically my, my prediction. Um, Corpse Husband's probably going to be number one. I have no idea what two through five are going to be. Um, it, it could be uh, Cane Hill, it could be Ghostbane, it could be Lorna Shore, it could be Bella Porch. I mean, I literally don't know. It could be anyone. Um, I am Jake Hill. I became obsessed with his song, Run Up. Uh, thank you, Spotify, for recommending that song to me. Thank you. Discovered that song because I was listening to Corpse Husband and on Shuffle, and I ran out of songs to listen to, and it was like, here, check this one out. So thank you. Thank you, Spotify. Really, really, really enjoyed that song. I know, I, I made a few TikToks with that song, actually. So, I don't know. Okay, you know what? I am rambling, and I'm rambling, and I always do this. I apologize. You're probably like, God, will you shut up and just get to it already? Okay. So, all right. Let's figure out who my top things are on Spotify. So, okay. Um, I have... Your 2020, 20, ugh, your 2021 wrapped pulled up. In 2021, you did what you had to do. Playing box... I didn't read it all. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, I spent 11,061 minutes listening to Spotify. I, I actually didn't listen to a lot of Spotify this year. Um, okay. While everyone was trying to figure out what NFTs were, you had one song on repeat. Of course! Of course, it's E-Girls Are Rooting My Life by Corpse Husband. <laughs> but that wasn't the only song on your rotation. Oh god, okay. What else? What else? Alright, my top songs. E-Girls, Miss You, White Tea, Never Satisfied, Cat Girls Are Rooting My Life. It's all Corpse! <laughs> it's all Corpse! <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I got a little obsessed. You deserve a playlist as long as your skincare routine. Wait, what? Um, okay. In a year like 2021, even your music gets a vibe check. It's time to unveil your audio aura. Entering wrapped multi-dimensional mode. This is fancy. Okay, Spotify, I see you. We're getting fancy in here. Your audio aura. Your top music moods are bold and wistful. Okay. <laughs> Whatever that means. You always understood the assignment. Uh, yep. Tried. I tried. You listened to 42 different genres this year, but we've been proud. I, I, I didn't read it all. Okay, my top genres. Oh, right. Okay, it says Synthwave is number one, but that's because of my Twitch. We also have Metalcore, Scream Rap, and what was that? I don't know, I'm going to have to go back and look. Y'all see it up here. How well do you know you? I don't know. Let's play two truths and a lie. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Tap the false statement. The artist who appeared the most in your your playlist was Suburban. The artist you binge listened to the most was Stream Beats by Harris Heller. The song you binged listened to most was E-Girls Are Ruining My Life. Oh, okay. Suburban was the lie. The truth. The artist who appeared the most in your playlist was Corpse. No, go figure. I know. I know. <laughs> Share the story to your BFFs. You guys are my BFFs. I'm, I'm sharing this with you guys as, we're, as I'm going through it. You listened to 526 different artists, but things got pretty serious with one. Oh. Oh. Can you guess who it is? <laughs> it's Corpse Husband. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I swear I listened to more than just Corpse. You spent a total of 2,722 minutes <laughs> with it. God, that's so embarrassing. I'm gonna go see myself out. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, my tarp artist. We have Corpse, Stream Beats by Harris Heller, Suburban, Cane Hill, and Savage Gasp. I've only listened to E-Girls Are Ruining My Life. I've never listened to a Savage Gasp song my entire life. Thanks for making us a regular part of your total irregular year. I like how my top genre is synthwave, but that's literally because of Twitch. So, like, with the whole DMCA copyright thing, um, I, I couldn't be doing, like, my headbang parties and playing, like, just regular music and stuff like that. And so I listened to a ton of Stream Beats by Harris Heller, which I guess, I mean, not sponsored or anything like that, but 
if you happen to be a Twitch streamer or a, a content creator of any sorts, or you need music for um, a school project or, or just anything like that, and you need it to be copyright free and all, and all that good stuff, go check out Stream Beats by Harris Heller, aka Alpha Gaming. Um, Stream Beats is amazing. They have all sorts of playlists. My favorite is Synthwave. Spotify just told you that one. I really, really like the Synthwave playlist, but I've also been getting into their retro playlist. So go check them out. You can stream it on Spotify, obviously, um, Apple Music, YouTube, yeah, on YouTube, and you can also go to their website, I think. I don't know. I'm not sponsored. I don't pay attention to all these things. Um... <laughs> I just know for a fact that you can get stream beats on Spotify, clearly. So, highly, highly recommend checking that out, you know, if you need some copyright-free music for your things. For your content-creating things, or your school projects, or whatever you're doing. Anyways, um, so, that's interesting. I mean, I spend most of my year streaming, actually. So, I could see where Synthwave would be the top genre. Um, that's so, but that's so, like weird to me i think the most shocking thing is that uh baby metal did not make it at all anywhere this year and baby metal has been like number one on the top every single year for the past several years i was a huge huge baby metal fan i still am i still freaking love baby metal completely obsessed with them still but like not near as much as i once was especially over the past year like they weren't doing anything new and I don't know, I could go on like a whole baby metal tangent with this past like year and how baby metal has handled COVID and treated their fans and stuff like that. And I don't want to get too much into it. I'm trying to keep this video just light, fun, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, kind of ditched baby metal for Corpse Husband. That's what happened basically. Um, so I guess, I guess for me, it's kind of like, wow, I, I really didn't listen to baby metal like at all this year. Um, last year, I think was pretty heavy on baby metal in spite. I listened to a lot of both of those bands. Um, I'm a little shocked that like Kane Hill did appear. I'm a little shocked that Lorna Shore wasn't on there at all because um, their new music they put out this year is freaking banger. Like, holy shiitake moly. Freaking loved it. Um, I am happy to at least see Kane Hill is on here. Um, I freaking love Kane Hill. I've been a huge, huge fan of them way before they were discovered by, like, the world and record labels. Like, I saw them at South By when they were just an itty-bitty tiny little band. And, um, gosh, I think that was back in, like, 2014, 2015, maybe even earlier than that. I'm not sure. Um, so I've been a huge fan of Kane Hill for years, and, uh, their new music is freaking fantastic. I feel like they just can't do no wrong. Like, so, go, go check out Kane Hill if you're into, like, new metal and stuff like that. I feel like they give a fresh new sound to new metal. They're like, if Korn had a baby, but, like, with their, like, fresh new sound, basically. The one thing I'm really, like, taken back by on my top artist is Savage Gas being number five. I mean, the only song I've ever listened to him, like, by him, or with him in it, is E-Girls Are Ruining My Life, which is Corpse featuring Savage Gasp. I've never listened to just a solo song from him. So, I don't know, man. Spotify, I think you goofed on that one. Um, I Personally, I think I would have replaced Savage Gasp with maybe... I don't know. Either Bella Porch, Lorna Shore... Or Ghost Main. I think one like one of those three probably should have been in the like fifth placement. Um, so I don't know. Anyway, I mean I I'm pretty satisfied with this. Uh, a lot of it is no shocker. Um, I'm yeah. Even my top songs being all corpse. I'm just sitting there like, <sighs> you know, Hot Demon Bitches Near You is not on the list, but that song is still my freaking jam. I play it almost every day. Like, yeah. I love that song a lot. Um, so, but I mean, that song recently, relatively recently came out. So I know that I haven't listened to it enough for that to be on the list for this year. But <laughs> maybe it'll pop up in next year's uh, year in review. Um, but what what are your guys' thoughts on my Spotify wrapped 2021? What are your top artists and, and top songs and genres? Let's, let's just talk about music. I love I just, I always love this time of year. I love seeing what everyone's been listening to for the past year. I discover a lot of artists from that. 
and it's really cool to just kind of get caught up in what all my friends and what the internet's listening to and what's popular and and, and things like that I, I think it's great it sparks a lot of conversations on social media i think this, that spotify does a really cool creative way of presenting this data to us um so let me know what your spotify route 2021 is um also featuring cat over here and <laughs> and let me know your thoughts on what my my spotify route 2021 is and uh yeah let's just you know let's just talk music and all that you can also keep the conversation going in my discord which i will have linked down below in the description box as well as the pinned post uh once again i am a twitch streamer i stream monday tuesday thursday friday from 8 p.m central to around midnight during the month of december i am going to be doing dark souls december and seeing how far i can get through the game in two weeks i think i'm gonna give myself two weeks to try and play this game and that's about it and we're just gonna see how far i can get and uh, yeah so if you want to see me fail at dark souls then feel free to pop in my streams um then the week of christmas i have what's called merry minnow christmas i have some irl streams planned and a christmas movie night planned in my discord so got a lot of fun activities going on throughout the month of december feel free to come stop by my discord and my twitch and come hang out with me and my awesome community and if i don't see you in chat or in uh the comments down below then hopefully i catch you all in my next video bye guys